Now I'm going to show you how to tidy up your horizon line. So as you can see, I have put two pieces of tape on the um, horizon. There's just a little wee gap in between. About two millimetres, one millimetre, just not too wide. It can be as narrow as you like. Then I'm going to take a piece of my um, melamine sponge and wet it and squeeze as much water out of it as I can. Press it on your towel so that it's almost dry. Then I'm going to lift this horizon and I'm going to scrub it out where my landform ends and it's sea, um, sea to sky, the lightest part. And then I'm going to make it a little bit intermittent so it's not all the way. So it's a trusty tissue. So I've got a few sort of darker spots in it and a few and make that bit on the horizon really light. It'll pick up a few little bits of paper, just blot it out with your tissues, like so. And then I'm going to take off the bottom tape. Now, as you can see, I've got a hard line there. I don't want it as hard as that. So with this tape, with this, um, I'm going to clean off my melamine sponge so it's got nothing on it anymore. And I've got, I'm um, too dark here, so I'm going to lift some off so I can put some more of that lovely sunset colour on. And I'm going to soften the bottom edge of those two um, um, highlights on the horizon that are at the base. I'm not going to take it away completely because I'm going to put dark paint over that. I'm just going to blur the line a little bit because that's going to have the reflection of the um, hill or the landform on it but this piece in the middle is going to be my nice golden area so I'll clean off my melamine sponge again then I'm going to go to town here and with single sort of strokes I'm going to lift some colour blot it like so clean off my sponge again squeeze it out in the water dry it as much as you can and I'm just going to just in that part where the light is beaming through the um, the landforms, if you like. Here we go. So I've lightened it up a lot. And whilst it's wet, I'm going to pick up a brush. I've got my number 20. And I'm going to put some of that lovely sky colour in there. I've got a little bit on my palette here. I've put my palette here so that you can see it rather than to my side for the purposes of today. And a little bit more yellow. Picked a little bit up on a smaller brush so that I don't contaminate my yellow. Quite a bit more yellow. And mix that in. And then I'm going to drop that across the horizon there. And rinse off my brush. And just take it out to the side. So you can see I haven't gone right to the horizon with putting the colour on and I'm just um, softening out the edges of it so it just disappears out and just disappear into that darker colour like so you see that just wet that up a bit further there because that edge was so white it's going to feel really light anyway because it is lighter than the rest of what I've put on there and then I'm going to pick up some of my um, background colour and I'm going to create a um, I'm going to create a I'm, I'm just lifting my tape so I can see where the landform stops and starts so I'll take that off completely soon as I've done that now so now we're going to create what feels like the shadow or reflection of that landform there um, and we're going to do it in a dark um, version of the sea colour in essence, it's a shadow on our surface, so we want a dark version of what's already there. So I've got a dark, greeny, dark, and it's a little bit watery. It's not super dark. Then I'm going to be careful not to go past the line of my landform end, if you like, and I'm going to just drop it in here like this in a streaky kind of a way. I'm leaving the very light bit at the very top, and I'm just bringing it in like this. Now, it's, it's dry there, so I'll just soften that with a big brush, soften that there, 
So that's that landforms um, reflection or shadow. It's, it's kind of both. It's probably more the reflection than anything. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep my little light line to the edge there. I'll go over it with wet so it won't stay as, as sharp as that. And then I'm going to pick up some more paint and go out to the heads, if you like. Just drop a tiny bit of paint in there because it's only a little bit of land there. And you can tip, tip your paper like this if you want to um, make it run where you want it to run. Because I don't want it to go any further out there. If it does go further than you want it to, you can just pick up a almost dry brush and just tidy it up like so. And then I'm going to put the strongest amount in at the base there. And then that's kind of, I don't want it too perfect. Goes up a bit higher there. Then it goes down a bit lower there. So I'll use my big wet brush. I wet it, dry it off, and then pull that down like so. And then give it a bit of a tilt. Oh, I didn't... Um, re wet that uh, horizon to the sea. I don't want this as bright as that. So I'll just touch the edge of that. With my, it will still be lighter by virtue of the um, whiteness of the paper showing through. And there we have it. You can put it in a few more little dark, dark bits if you want to, just for interest of shape. And then this one over here is, on this side is kind of drying out now. So I might just put a few little, few little dark, really dark little streaks in there. The streaks that you've already got there will show through. And it is wavy out there, not wavy and close. So we don't want it too perfectly smooth, you see. So you can see what I've done there. And if you're not happy with what you've got, don't forget you can always add water. So I'll do that to show you. Wet little brush, like so. I've got a dry bit there. I don't want a dry bit there. So I'll put water there instead. So see, I've just dropped some water in there. I'll drop some water here too, a little bit further over. And I've got it on, you can see this kind of tilt that I've got it on. And have it running that way. Because everything appears to be flat on um, water. Now I've kind of lost my highlight there, but we can always go in after this is done, if it's not light enough when it's dry, and um, do the same thing again with two pieces of tape, make it really light, and um, yes, put it, uh, put two pieces of tape and lift it again. Now I see I've got quite a bit of orangey gold up there, and I haven't got quite so much here, it's a bit lighter, so I'm just adding a little bit back in. And if it makes horrible shapes I don't really mind because it's that's just a part of the the look and I'm just going to put a few little streaks of dark in there just to make it not so perfect like so I'll bring that piece up over there just irregular not regular how we do okay so there we go that's our horizon and our reflections of the landforms done, just like that.